Hey guys and gals, we're at the Berlin Ski Jump in Milan, New Hampshire, which was the biggest ski jump on the East Coast. Uh, there's a lot of history here. So we have to climb up there before I can show you guys this historical monument. Stay tuned. This is more challenging than I thought. Okay guys, we're about halfway there. Super humid out today. And this feels like work. Wow. Now it's time to climb these bad boys. A D D D D D. D D D D D. There it is, guys. The abandoned Berlin ski jump in Milan, New Hampshire. This was the largest ski jump on the East Coast. And it used to draw in thousands of spectators to watch these daredevils jump off that and fly. down that. That's amazing. Let's take a closer look. Guys, that's absolute insanity. Jumping off that. Wow. Here is a segment of stairs that they took down, they obviously don't want us going up there. I might see if I can try to, no promises though. So guys, if you research the Berlin ski jump, you should check out all the old photos they have of it and the crowds that it drew and all the old vehicles. It was, it was a happening back in the day. This is the great stuff that you find out on the road exploring. Boy, I'd like to get up there. That must be insane. For those that think that the Berlin ski jump isn't that high, think again. That's kind of a cool shot right there. Look at that bad boy, guys. That's no joke, man. You gotta have a lot of gumption to fly down that thing on skis. Wow. So guys, at my age, I just tried climbing that and it was shaking and creaking and it just doesn't seem like a good idea. If I was 20, I'd be shimmying right up there, but it ain't happening now, sorry. So the ski jumper would go flying down that ramp, launch off there and literally fly into the sky, landing, who knows, somewhere down there. So there's the launching point, guys, right there. Flying down there towards where you see that car. That's just insanity.
That's a historical structure right there.